Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So tonight I'm drinking this. Mojito Sour Watermelon Cucumber by Barntown Brewing. So I picked up this this little fella here um, while I was at, at uh, Barntown Brewing in West Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, my information went away for a second. Um, when I first saw a Mojito beer, I wasn't real enthused. I, it, but to be honest, I've never had a mojito, so I don't actually know how it tastes. I just know that it's like a foo foo drink, and I, I don't normally get cocktails. I just thought, how good could that be? But while we were sitting there, I saw countless people come in just to get beer to go, and a lot of people were, were picking this up. So I thought, well, maybe it's worth a shot. And so I read the ingredients list and it's actually on the back of the can here or no it's on the front of the can i have no idea what i'm talking about clearly um but it's a mojito inspired gluten-free sour with watermelon cucumber lime and mint well i know lime and mint actually go pretty well together so i thought why not and here's the stats it weighs in at six percent abv and i guess that's it there's no other information no carbs or anything like that but this is the blurb that they, they have on their website no shirt no shoes no problem kick back and relax with our take on a mojito it's full of refreshing flavor with watermelon cucumber mint and a hint of lime so let's crack it open see what we got nice busted out the the big boy, the Bubba Gump glass. Just because I thought if there's any head to this, I might need a bigger glass. It's kind of a challenge to get a 16 ounce can into a 16 ounce glass. Oh wow, absolutely no head. And honestly, it kind of looks like Cherry 7-Up. For some reason, I was expecting it to be green. But yeah. Um, plenty of carbonation, just no head developed. And it's like a like a pink champagne color or cherry 7-up color. Oh wow, you can definitely smell the watermelon. And the mint. Not picking up cucumber. But there might be a little bit of lime in there, but definitely watermelon and mint come through very strong, which makes me think of like uh, bubble yum or something. I want to say they had a, a watermelon mint flavor, um, but I have not had a bubble yum in many years. I don't even know that they make it anymore. So anyway, enough distractions. There's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. Um, there's just a little bit of sour in the aftertaste from the lime, but the, the mint and watermelon really come through. Definitely more of a summertime drink. Not bad, but it's not my sort of thing. It's the sort of thing that I could drink, but I don't normally drink. But it reminds me more of like a... Like a Smirnoff or some sort of malt beverage that's intended to, to mimic a cocktail, which that's exactly what this is supposed to do. But if you just handed me a glass and told me this... It, this was a mojito-like drink, I would not think that it was beer. So I don't know what about it makes it beer. I'm assuming they must have used some barley or some lager or 
or ale yeast, maybe. I, I'm not really sure, but yeah, it just makes me think of like some sort of uh, yeah, like I said, a Smirnoff, something along those lines. Um, I'm trying to think of what uh, other companies make drinks like that, and I suppose it doesn't really matter. Not bad, I suppose. If you like mojitos or do you prefer those sort of things or wine coolers if they even still make those this would be right up your alley and it's something that i might get on a whim in the summertime but uh probably not something i would seek out again and i know from the few beers that i've had from this place their beers are really good so probably not something i'll get again but but yeah if if, if you're not a beer drinker and you go to this brewery and, but you still want something to drink this would be a perfect drink. If you like cocktails, this would be fine. Um, I do like the addition of the mint and how it pairs with the watermelon. But, um, yeah, just not my thing. And that's really all I got. So if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And go ahead and leave a comment about Bailey if you want. She wanted to be in the video this time. Unfortunately, I don't have a harness big enough to, to hold her. But she really wanted to be in the video. She's a little jealous of her little sister. So everybody say hi. Bailey, say hi. Hi. All right. And this is the Malta Gentleman reminding you, you only have one lover. So use it wisely.